Hey coffee truckers, it's Vince with Green Joe Coffee Truck. Thanks for coming in and checking out this video on how I made 11K in one month. So we've grossed over 10K before. That's definitely not the only time we've made over 10K in, on our coffee truck. So it's not necessarily something that's never been done. And, and we've done it multiple times, so it's not rare either. But this particular month was good because the profit percentages were good. And you know, it only takes a few good events to bump us over 10K. And so I wanted to share that experience. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about December. We had a pretty good month in December. Uh, we grossed over uh, over 11,000, and so that's a uh, that's a good month for us. Uh, I didn't get to take all that home, uh, but my profit percentage on that was uh, significantly higher than on some of my other months. We had mainly three big gigs that really kind of pulled it for us. Probably four. We we probably had four big gigs that that made a lot of money for us. The first one was a a church. They don't have their own commercial kitchen. They wanted me to make hot chocolate for them. I and mean, originally they had called me up last year and they said, "Are you able to do like fifteen hundred cups of hot chocolate?" And I said, "Well, let me call you right back." I went on to eBay. I found out how much those hot beverage dispensers are. I, I was able to get a hold of the guy that distributes those and I said, and so we worked out a deal where he can ship them to me, ground shipping on a crate, reduce the shipping cost, and then, so then I called them back up, uh, the church, and I said, okay, so I, I can do your hot chocolates. It's gonna cost you X amount. What X amount was, was the amount of cost of those beverage dispensers doubled and I told the church you'll need to pay half up front and then half afterwards and so the half up front paid for the inventory and then the half after went to my pocket. So that happened last year. Well this year they gave me a call again and they said well listen can you do 2,000 hot chocolates? And I said yes. You know uh, well <laughs> first I said let me call you back. <laughs> I went and I, I found my supplies and I, I called them back and I said, yeah, I can do 2,000 hot chocolates. And then they said, well, can you do 2,000 hot chocolates a day for three days in a row? And uh, I said, yes, I can do that. Uh, they said, well, how much will it cost? And I said, let me call you back. <laughs> this time what I did is um, I called all the coffee shops in town, finding out how much they would charge, dispense 2,000 hot chocolates and no one could do it, um, even even the big guys, even like Starbucks. And so I had cornered the market there. So I called them back and I arranged, uh, I, I basically arranged for a, a dollar a cup. And so they said, okay, we'll take it. And so we did a dollar a cup for 2,000 hot chocolates a day, three days in a row. The second day and the third day, they ended up ordering, I think it was 23, and then 2,500 hot chocolates. Um, at the end, it came out to about 7,000 hot chocolates that we delivered in those three days. At a dollar a piece, that bumped up our, our profits pretty high. So that was, that was a big, big event. So the second thing I did was a holiday market, and they said that they were going to have 18,000 people at this market over three days. So what we did for this one, we did hot chocolate and coffee, and I used, I have these, these large pots that uh, that you put on, they're these very large pots, and you put them on, on top of propane, like a camp stove, and you can heat hot water on these things. Well, you can heat 16 gallons at a time per pot. I got two of them, so that's 32 gallons that I can heat. At a time, it takes me 90 minutes. There's not a lot of wind to get um, two pots uh, boiling. One of those pots was dedicated just to hot chocolate. So we would make 16 gallons of hot chocolate and I served my hot chocolate out of a 12 ounce cup. I served it for $3. I'd like to say that cup cost me maybe 24 cents. Cup, chocolate, all of it. So the margin on that was pretty, pretty good. Coffee, what I did is I made a bunch of cold brew actually. I would make five pounds in a five gallon bucket. Uh, I had I have two buckets, so I would make 10 pounds of coffee at the same time. That gave me 
12 gallons, I'd like to say, somewhere around there, 12 gallons. And so those 12 gallons, I put those on one of those vats and heated that up at the same time. So during the 90 minutes that the hot chocolate was boiling, the cold brew was heating up to, to temperature. Is it allowed me to uh, bypass, uh, you know, like my brewers? I got like, I have four brewers, but even at four brewers, I got to bring a big generator and it just becomes a big headache throughout your day, brew more coffee, brew more coffee. With the cold brew brewing, I would just brew, you know, these 12 gallons at a time. I had to do it overnight, but I would brew 12 gallons at a time and then just heat them up and serve it. What I like about the cold brew versus the hot coffee that you brew off of like a normal commercial coffee brewer is that the cold brew, it holds its flavor better than a traditionally brewed coffee. Cold brew will last like four or five days in terms of like its flavor profile. We were out there for three days. We, I think we did just over like 2,400 bucks. I think I got 2,000 sample cups, just these little half ounces. We sampled hot chocolate and I would put like a little marshmallow in it. That fed the, the coffee and the, and the chocolate business. We did pretty good off of those two. Um, I got a call from Netflix and they said, hey, we're interested in booking you. And typically I charge $2.99 an hour. So I said, okay, you know, three hours, so it's going to be like a thousand bucks. And uh, so they gave me a call and they said, well, we're interested in booking you for nine hours. You know, how much is that going to be? Well, by then I had just finished with this, you know, seven grand gig. And I just finished with this holiday market gig. So I'm tired, number one. I'm, I'm spent, you know, because I've been working my tail off. And, you know, the money is good, so I didn't really need the money. So I said, well, you know, nine hours, it's going to be two ninety nine an hour, you know. <laughs> Some little deal, but to be honest, it wasn't much. And, and then there was a couple other movie sets that month. I think uh, altogether, I mean, it was a, a phenomenal month. You know, we really uh, worked our ass off. and uh, We worked hard. Um, we worked really hard. Um, being your own boss is pretty sweet, you know, like uh, there are times where it's been hard, money hasn't been there, or I've had to work long hours, or at 3 a.m. in the morning when I'm off on some movie set, you know, making some movie star his caramel macchiato, sometimes I'll kind of question, like, what the hell am I doing here, you know? <laughs> but, you know, months like December where, you know, you get in there and you get it and you get a, you know, you make a good amount of, of income in a short amount of time. Uh, those kind of make it worth it. We, we just had a another baby, uh, my second daughter, and uh, we had her in January. I, I haven't I haven't worked a month. I haven't worked a day. Not in January. It's been you know, what are we on the 21st, and uh, I haven't worked a single day in January. I've been at home with my family the whole the entire time. I think you know having those financial freedoms is really nice. If you're interested in researching coffee trucks, then you definitely want to check out the website. That's where I sell the ebook. It's a 68 page document with how to videos, financials, cost analysis, everything that I spent on my first truck, um, as well as my profit reports. If you're serious about getting into coffee trucking, then you want to check out the business plan. Uh, the business plan is where we get much more into depth, some marketing plans, expansion plans, deep financials, how to project profit, this type of thing. So both of those are on the website. I uh, hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much. We've, we've grossed over 11, we've grossed, so, <laughs> so 11K, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 um, and, uh, If you're interested in researching coffee trucks, um, you may want to go to. If you're. Oh. <laughs>